it God has a plan even Amen. when we cannot see it. Amen. 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 Even when your eyes can't see what the Lord is seeing, but he has a plan for you. Amen. 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 So we'll read from Ephesians. Ephesians 1. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Ephesians 1, and um, I'll read from 3. Ephesians 1, 3. Amen. <clears throat> Yeah, it says, um, uh, praise, that's three, Ephesians 1, 3. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love he predestined us for adoption, to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will to the to the praise of his glorious grace which he has freely given us in the one he loves that's our Lord Jesus amen seven it says, in him we have redemption through his blood for forgiveness of sin in accordance with the riches of God God's grace that he lavished on us with all wisdom and understanding, he made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in Christ. 10, it says, to, to be put into effect when the times reach, reach their fulfillment, to bring unity to all things in heaven and on earth under Christ. 11 it says in him we were also chosen having been predestined according to the plan of of him who's who works out everything in 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 conforming is it in conformity yeah conformity conformity with the purpose of his will that's our lord jesus christ ma in christ jesus and then 12 it says in order that we who were the first who were the first to be to put out to put our hope in Christ might be for the praise of his glory and you also were included in Christ when you heard the message the message of truth the gospel of your salvation when when you believed when we believed you see when we believed we had the message we believed and we're included in that amen it mm. says <clears throat> when we believed you you were marked in him with a seal the promise holy spirit amen and it, amen. Says, it says who is a deposit guaranteeing oh, our inheritance until until the redemption of those who are God's possessions to the praise of his glory. Amen. So Amen. we are Christ Jesus. Lord, he chose us before everything, everything where, you know, as, you know, before we came to the world, the Lord already chose us. Amen. So, mm -hmm. You know, it's like, uh, <clears throat> You know, it's like, uh, you know, it, you know, when I go to Cape Town, I see a lot of, uh, you know, uh, people, you know, these tourists, they go there and, they, you know, they'll have a guide. Amen. So the guide will take them, you know, from point A to point B, explaining to them what, whatever is there. So even us, we have to see it, Jesus as our guide. Amen. We have that guaranteeing the Holy Spirit guiding us in everything. So for us to have this and to know this Ephesians 1, 3, that everything, we have been blessed with every spiritual things in the heaven realm. So our book, you know, our books, each one of us have a book. So the book is written before you come you know in this world it says uh, you know it says you know in joshua it says you know joshua one let's go to joshua one <clears throat> we'll go to joshua one but we'll read from seven amen, amen. joshua one and i'll read from seven it says be strong and very courageous that's one seven be strong and very courageous be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book that's eight now. 
Keep this book of the law of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. You see, the Lord was commanding Joshua to meditate on the book. So even us, you know, the Lord is commanding us to meditate on the word of God day and night so that we may see, we may know these, these blessings the Lord has already predestined for us. They are already in us. Amen. Before we came here, that guide was already there. Those, uh, you know, tourists, when they went to Cape Town, it's not like the guide wasn't there, was already there. So the Lord has already been there and we have the seal. The Holy Spirit is already here. He has already walked in there. The guide knows everything is going to take them there, point A to point B. He knows all the all the corners, all the what everything is going to explain. The ancient things is going to explain, the guide to explain. So even as as we go back to the word, Jesus, the Holy Spirit is going to take what belongs to Jesus and make it known to us. Amen. And then we'll know the things we have to do upon this world. Amen. We are here in the, you know we are here on a mission, I always say you know everything before we were born everything was put in us amen we are already equipped with the things we have to do all the you know it, you know it's like you go in the kitchen everything is there the spoons the what we have everything in us everything all the equipments we need to use the gifts the what they are already mm -hmm. in us. but we have mm -hmm. to walk, we have to follow the guide you know mm -hmm. the guide the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go back to the Word. How are we going to know how to navigate? We have to go back to the Word. Amen. Mm -hmm. Everything we go back to the Word so that we can know. As you know, in Proverbs 15 3, it says, You know, 15 3. Let me just go there. <clears throat> Proverbs 15 3, it says, The eyes of the Lord are everywhere, keeping watch on the wicked and the good. Do you see? You know, when the tourists go there, the tour, you know, the tour guide does not check to say, oh, is, are you a sinner or you what? They give the guide. But I, you know, do we belong to the spirit. If we know, we go back to the word, the word knows exactly what to do. So he's going to watch everything we are going to do. Everything is going to watch that we see. Everything comes to pass. Whatever is in that book. Whatever is in the book, the book of ours, the book was written, their names, the books will be opened. In You know, if you read in Revelations, the books were opened, and then one book of life was opened. Now your name must be there, but again, the, your book is going to open. Did you do what I sent you to do on the earth? Are we doing what we are supposed to do? I always say this, Jesus said, I only do what I see my father doing. Amen. Do we exactly what the Holy Spirit is telling us, what the Lord has sent us to do. He sent, you know, he said to his disciples, I'm sending you into the world, go and make disciples. Mm. I'm sending you. He didn't say go, oh, no, me, I'll go and do this. No, I'm sending, go and make disciples, go and baptize mm. them, go and do this. I'll be with you to the end. So are mm. we doing exactly what the Lord is telling us or are we doing our own things? You know, that guide, you know, that, you know, those tourists, if they leave the guide, they go somewhere else, they'll be lost. They will be lost until maybe when the guides start looking. Oh, but I had 20 people. Where are they? Where is the one? This is where it says it's going to leave the 99 and go mm -hmm. look for one. But now we have to follow the word of the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. We have to follow. We have the guaranteeing seal on our forehead. That's our Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy mm -hmm. Spirit is always in, in, you know, in us guiding us it says you know you hear the way telling you god turn to the left this is the way walk in it that's the guide we have but mm -hmm. every time we have to go back to the word the word is the word the word is the word made flesh the word is jesus amen he is amen. amen so in everything we do we have to follow the word you know it says um uh, I'm just reminded again, John 10.10, 10, you know, when you read in John, um, <clears throat> let me just go there quickly. Um, John. John, uh, John 10, but I'll read from 9. It says, John 10, I'll read 9. It says, I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. Mm. We will come in and go out 
and find pasture. So you find good things in Christ. Amen. Through his guidance. And then it says, 10, it says, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. And destroy. I have come, him, he came, that we may have life. Amen. He said, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. So in everything, the Lord wants us to fulfill what is written in the book, in our books. Amen. The things we have come to do here, we have to fulfill everything mm -hmm. through Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In everything, we have to, we have to fulfill those things. Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, you know, it says uh, in in Psalms one thirty nine sixteen. You don't have to go there. It says all the days. That's the one. All the yes. days of our lives. You know, were ordained before one of them came to be. To so be. all the days are already set. That's, that's why. Right. We back you see this is where again it takes us to the word joshua 1 8 the word the word the bible there is no two way about it you have to go back to the word the word is jesus amen is our guide is going to guide us in everything amen is our wisdom is our life in everything we do we want this we have to go back to the word we have to go back to the word and that word that's why the lord was saying meditate on this word day and night and then you will make your way prosperous you will know what is yours in the word. You will know what the Lord has died for us, what the Lord has purchased for us. You will know what is yours. Amen. If Amen. you don't know what's in the book, it says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. If you don't know what's in the word, you will perish. Amen. The mm. enemy will come and kick you left, right, center. You, you know, you will do things. It's like writing exams. You know, you, you know, you didn't study, you didn't do what, and then you go to write the exams. How are you going to write? You start just writing things from your mind, which are not true. And at the end of the day, you fail. So even us, we have to go back to the word. He knows everything. Amen. He knows every hidden thing. So we have to go back to him so that he open our eyes and we will see the things he wants us to see. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen. You know, we go, we know, we know this scripture, but we just go there. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29. Amen. Mm. We go back to him. It says, <clears throat> you know, in uh, that's 11, Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans mm. to hope and the future then you will you will call on me and come and pray to me i will listen to you you mm. will seek me and and find me when you seek me when you seek me with all your heart amen so when mm. we seek you will find him. He's not going to hide. He's not going to play that hide and seek. You are seeking, you are seeking, you are seeking, you are not finding. No. He said, keep on knocking and the door will be opened. Amen. You keep on knocking, you're going to open the door. You keep on seeking. You will find that answer. He's going to find, you know, you will find the answer. And he's, you know, he is a good God. He said, every good and perfect gift comes from him. That's him. Every good and perfect and perfect gift comes from our father amen. amen so in everything we seek him because he is the answer he is amen. the answer to everything amen, amen. and then amen. you know um it says uh, in uh, uh, um proverbs let's just uh, go there quickly that's uh, proverbs proverbs i did mark this one I didn't mark it, uh, sorry. That's uh, Proverbs 25. Yeah, Proverbs 25, 2, it says, It is the glory of God to conceal a matter. To search out a matter is the glory of kings. Mm -hmm. And it is we, as the heavens are higher and the earth deep, so the hearts of kings are unsearchable. So do you see there are things which you you know you cannot see until you go to the Lord and then you will see them. Amen. So mm -hmm. you see them, you search and then he's going to show you. For it says remove the drawers from the silver and the and the silversmith can produce a vessel. So, you know, the Lord will give you the eyes to remove something. You may think of this cup, why it's nonsense, this is nothing. But the Lord is saying, no, this cup is not, you know, it's not nonsense. Search it, come on, clean it, do this, do this, do that. And then when you clean, you will see that silver and you will make, you know, you know, it's going to come out a beautiful vessel out of that. Amen. Mm -hmm. so, 
him. We search, we, we search things. We don't sit and fold our arms. No, we do. It says it's impossible. Everything is possible with God. Amen. So Amen. everything. God, not God alone, with us, we have to partner with Him. Amen. Mm-hmm. We go there, we say it, everything is going to be possible. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. So Amen. in everything is the glory of us to search it. You know, when you read, it says uh, in, in Corinthians, let me just go there, Corinthians, uh, Corinthians 2, <clears throat> it says, uh, um, that's First Corinthians 2, First Corinthians 2, 9, it says, um, However, as it is written, but no eye has seen, but no ear has heard, and and what no 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 human mind has conceived the things God has prepared for those who love Him. You mm-hmm. see. Things, the things the Lord has prepared for us, they are so beautiful. They are mind, you know, mind blowing, you know. But we have to search. We shouldn't be lazy. We go back to Joshua 1 8. We search the word and we will be given direction. Amen. And that direction, it may be simple. You know, I'm just reminded we're talking about it. It may be simple. But, you know, the Lord uses the foolish things to confine the wise. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Some people, they'll go, you know, uh, you know, <laughs> even if Pastor Francis, Sin always tell me, no, don't say that, don't say that. I used to be a stammerer, believe me, you, I used to be a stammerer. And nowadays, I don't even believe that I can speak like this fluent. <laughs> I used to be a very, very bad stammerer. And, you know, just to take out the words, you know, like to, if it's a word and it's, a, you know, with a tongue twisting, oh my goodness, I will stammer, I will be like, I don't know how to speak, or I don't, it's just stammering, I'm telling you. And, it, you know, it makes you you know to be frustrated with things or even saying and if it's arguing then I'll, you know i was a very bitter person because of that i'll get angry agitated quickly because of that but by seeking the lord reading mm-hmm. the way i don't know where it has gone when Amen. i'm saying, it will come but it, you know it won't be there i will know myself that oh here i've you know i've tried to stammer but it won't even show than before you know mm-hmm. that's how god is god is great Amen. Creator of us, He knows exactly where to touch. Amen. He knows Amen. exactly. He has put that. You know, I'm reminded of Paul where he was saying of the of the thorn in the flesh. You know, some thorns they are there because the Lord wants you wants you to seek Him, and then He's going to correct them. Amen. Amen. He's going to correct them and you will know that it's not by yourself. You can't do it without Him. You have to rely on Him in everything. Amen. So Amen. we have in the Lord. That's why Paul says, I boast, I boast in my weaknesses. I boast in my troubles because I know the strength of the Lord is made perfect in me. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. So even as we'll say that, so we go back to the, you know, say the, you know, in Genesis, you know, you don't have to go there. Genesis 14, 18, the Lord was talking to Moses. He, I mean, to Abraham, and he even said, you know, I am, that's, uh, no, 15, 1, he says, the Lord is the shield, he is the shield, he is the shield, and our great reward, he said, I am your shield, he was telling Abraham, I am mm. your shield and great reward, amen, he mm. is our shield, that's uh, Genesis 15, 1, he is our shield and great reward amen. in everything, amen, mm. Mm. He is the potter. Let's go to um, Isaiah, Isaiah 64. Isaiah 64. Isaiah 64, 8. Isaiah 64, 8. It says, Yet you, Lord, are our Father. We are the clay. You are the potter. We are, we are all the work of your hands. So we, all of us, we are the work of the Lord. And he's got his books. He knows the book of each one of us. Our names are there. So every time, every time we do something, when we seek him, that book is open, that page is open. You show, no, you are supposed to do this. In this day, you are supposed to be like this. That's why it says a day is like a thousand with the Lord and a thousand is like a day. So when you seek him, those things you've lost, you see, you think, oh my goodness i've lost my years i've lost what no the lord can bring it the thousand things can you know he can bring it in a day amen, amen. Mm. And the things will come back to you you won't even see that's why i said i'll restore to you all the all the things the conquerors has has eaten he's going to restore because he knows he's the creator he's mm. the mm. He, he can mold you again and then you receive those things amen mm. uh, 
and you know I wrote here I was saying you know you know uh, the the taller of the building you know the way the building the taller the building the the, the stronger the foundation you make the foundation to be very strong for the yes. for the building yes. to hold amen even just yeah. the, you know, even the tree when you see a big tree you see a big trunk yes, yes, so yes, even right. as the foundation how is it are we going back to the word Joshua 1 8, we go back to the word so that our foundation is rooted, is strong. When you go out there, you know, people in the world they like saying have a thick skin. No, you know, you don't you don't live in the spirit. I mean, I mean in the flesh, you live in the spirit. As mm. you live in the spirit, you are more strong. That that building is stronger. You can withstand everything which is going to come. Why? Because you live in the spirit. You don't see like a mere person. You, you know, you don't use the eyes of the physical, but you use the eyes of the spirit. Amen. You are following what the spirit is saying. Amen. Mm, so amen. everything is about Joshua 1 8. We go back for us to know what's in you know what's in Ephesians 1 3. Amen. So we go back to the Lord. And I've got one scripture. One scripture, and it's uh where is it? Let's say Ecclesiastes. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, Ecclesiastes. That's Ecclesiastes 12. Ecclesiastes 12. And I'll read from 9. It reads, <clears throat> Not only was the teacher wise, who's this teacher? That's our Lord Jesus. But he also imparted knowledge. Who's this teacher? Our Jesus. Imparted knowledge to the people. He pondered and searched out and set in order, in order and order many, many proverbs. That's our teacher. He pondered on everything. He came and set everything and put proverbs and everything good for us. Amen. Mm. He said, 10 it says the teacher searched to find just the right words for us to understand amen as we are searching in the word just the right word just the right word and and he and what he wrote was upright and true amen. Upright and true that's our lord jesus christ amen and it says uh you know the 11 it says the words of the wise are like gods and they are and they are collected, saying like family, imported nails, given by one shepherd. Mm. Warned, my son, of of be warned, my son, of 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 anything in addition to them. So we don't add anything to what the Lord has shown us. Amen. Otherwise, we we'll lose out, and we don't subtract to what He has given us. Amen. So we do it exactly as He has told us. Amen. And then it says. It says of of making many books there is no end. Yeah, don't think of the book the books Pastor Francis now has written. <laughs> <laughs> now it's coming in here. Yeah. No, the books, you know, we start, you know, you can read as we are you know, as I was reading the book, you see the scriptures, you see that these books they were born from the main book, that's the Bible. Amen. That's the Joshua one eight, the main Bible, that's our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. It's the word made flesh, that's the main book. It, amen. From there the book to be born. Amen. Of, mm -hmm. of making many books, there is no end. And much study, where, where is the body? So much study, when the Lord told you, you know, I mean, tells you to study the word, he's going to tell you to read the books. The books is going to show you where you're going to understand. Amen. Because he is mm -hmm. the teacher. He has searched everything which is right for you at that particular time. Amen. Mm. If you just start reading other books, all these things, like these other prayers whereby they just take, they enter the presence of the Lord, you just start binding and casting, binding and casting. What are you binding? What are you binding? What are, what are you casting? What are you losing? You don't know. You go face to the word, read the word, and the word will tell you exactly, no, now you have to do this. Now you have to do this. The Lord knows exactly what to do. We've seen the instructions when you read in the Old Testament how the Lord was leading the people even in the fights you said don't go this side go and ambush this side go and say to what go and do this amen he is mm. God knowing he's the ancient king he sits above the earth he sees everything yeah. amen 
He mm. knows everything. He sees, he sees every corner, every hidden thing, even where your enemy is hidden. He sees everything. Amen. So Amen. we have to go back to him. Amen. And mm. then it's here, 13. 13, it says, uh, now all has been heard. Here is the now now all has been heard. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the duty of all mankind. Do you see? This is our duty to fear the Lord and keep his commands. Amen. For us to prosper, we have to follow the word. Amen. And then 14, 14 it says, For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. Do you see? Everything will be brought out to open. Remember, everything is laid bare to whom we have to give account to. Amen. Amen. So let's let's do you know let's live like wise people. Let's know what's in the Bible. Amen. We mm. go back to the Bible. There is no two ways, no shortcuts you take. That's why for me, I see the people who take these books, casting and binding. That's a shortcut. You don't even know what you're binding. You don't know what you're building. You don't know what you go to the Lord because it says unless you know unless the Lord watches, the watchman watches in vain. So even Pray. You, I'm sure you will pray amiss because you don't know exactly what you are praying for. Amen. So that's why we pray in tongues. The Holy Spirit will direct you. Amen. He will pray through you. So you read the word. We read the word, the word, the word. But remember again in Joshua as the Lord was commanding him, he says, be strong and courageous because mm -hmm. the body, the flesh won't allow you to read the word so that you know what God wants you to do on this earth. The body, remember the enemy has got a plan for you as well if you are not walking in the spirit with the things of god the enemy is going to put you know put his plans in your life but as we read the word and the enemy won't allow you to read so we have to push this is where he said be strong and courageous even when you are reading the bible be strong and courageous you take the bible you say i'm going to read make it Make, you know, just make it a purpose to say, I'm going to read the Bible. Now I'm going to read the Bible. If you feel like you don't feel like reading the Bible, you force yourself. I've shared before, you know, sometimes I will take the Bible some time back and then that's when the sleep comes, you know, the slumber comes on my eyes. But I will take the word and read it while walking. You have to push. That's being strong and courageous. You have to push. And the Holy Spirit will help you as you are studying the word. Amen. So Amen. it it's about the word everything is born through the word amen mm -hmm. every good thing and perfect gift will be born through the word amen mm -hmm. amen amen so you know i was asking myself so what how how is your foundation how is your foundation because it says your heart is either it will condemn you amen so you know what's in your heart you know only the lord knows everything he knows what's in our heart not man amen Mm. Not man, but he knows what's in our heart, not man. So as we sit, as we sit today, everything we have the mind of Christ. No one knows what's in the spirit, but in the spirit, only the spirit man. No one knows the you know what Father God is thinking, but the spirit man. Amen. The spirit Amen. searches all things, he's the one who knows the mind of Father God, and he knows everything. And us, we have the mind of Christ. That's in First Corinthians. Amen. We have the mind of Christ in everything we must remember. We have the mind of Christ. Now, if we have the mind of Christ, we have to seek the word. Jesus said the Holy Spirit will, will take what is you know what belongs to me and make it known to you. We have the mind of Christ. We need to know what Christ wants us to do at a particular time. And in each and every day. Amen. So we must know and seek the word so that we can be guided day in, day out. We will know day in, day out. Yes, we can miss it there and there, but not all the time because we are going to be in the word. Amen. Amen. So, be people of the word. Amen. Let's be believers of the word. We believe the word, not what man is saying. You know, it says the you know the wisdom of man is coming to foolishness. So let's believe the wisdom of the Lord. Let's follow the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. He knows exactly what we need. He knows the beginning and the end. Amen. Amen.
ancient king and we have this cloud witness which has gone before us so as we read the word we'll be directed amen 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 that's what i had today amen amen we are so we must know what's what you know what the lord has blessed us with that's ephesians 1 3 so we can sit and read ephesians 1 3 you know 1 3 you go there you read from 1 to 14 you say lord i want to know you have blessed me with all spiritual blessings what are they the things i want to know them help me to see in the spirit sharpen the spirit of discernment sharpen my eyes and ears in the spirit that i may hear you amen because it says mm. my hear my voice any other they will not follow so when we keep on reading the word we will know how to follow the lord amen, amen. Well, it's not all the time we are going to miss it amen and when you you know when you miss the mark don't sit there now you start mourning no you ask for forgiveness you dust yourself and you get up amen you mm -hmm. get up and you start following you know those tourists if they can fall he falls and stayed there and then what they leave him no he gets up he start following so you have to follow when you look there you have to follow you can start your eyes start wandering somewhere you bring them back amen you bring mm -hmm. them back eyes as it says we focus our eyes on jesus the perfecter the author and the finisher of our faith amen amen amen, amen. that's what i had for you this morning amen